Hello guys. In today's video, we'll see what the limit of sine x divided by x is. When x approaches 0. Let's start. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel. We are going to see the geometric proof of this. We started by drawing a unit circle. We've now drawn a line. Because the radius of the circle is one unit, the length of this line will be one unit as well. This line forms an angle of x to the horizontal axis. Remember that x is measured in radians. This vertical distance is equal to the sine of x. We know that if the angle is theta and radius is r, then arc length is r times theta. Because the radius is 1, in this case, the arc length will be x. Let's take a closer look at this. For our convenience, I draw similar lines on the other side of the horizontal axis. We are now reducing the angle. As a result, we noticed that sine of x began to decrease. And the length of the arc began to shorten. Let's reduce the angle further. Both the sine of x and the arc length are further reduced. Now we have reduced the angle so much that the angle is almost approaching zero. If we look closely, we can see that the sine of x and the arc length have almost merged. And because short pieces of curves are nearly straight lines, when x approaches zero, 2 sine of x becomes equal to 2x. Because 2 cancels on both sides, sine of x equals x. Now let's solve this limit. Sine of x divided by x will become 1. Because the sine of x is equal to x, when x approaches 0. Because 1 is a constant number, its limit will be 1. That's it. That's all for now. Please like and share this video. Thank you.